Hey, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations. Welcome to episode 83 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, or just some cool projects that we're working on. And we have a fun episode for you today. With Every our... episode's a fun episode. Don't go there. Okay, but that's this is a but this one is, fun This one is extra fun, man. <laughs> Happy? Okay. Uh, with our guest, John, who's who's returning. If you've done, what, four episodes now with us, um, John? So what are we doing today? I'm happy to be here. So today, with the holidays coming up, and maybe you've got some downtime with your kids, and um, or, or maybe you just wanted to find a fun project, I thought we would explore Marvel Comics API. And we know with the Marvel Ooh. Universe and the movies and the success of, of all these great new superhero movies and content coming out, kids love superheroes of all ages. Maybe you could turn your children on to programming using their favorite superheroes. So you can see I'm on the developer portal and you just visit developer.marvel.com and you can, as they say right here, create awesome stuff with the world's greatest comic API. So there's interactive how-tos, how to get started. There's interactive documentation. Now you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need an API key and you can click get a key. And then I'll, I'll point this out because it took me a little bit of time to figure it out. The API system uses the key and then an MD5 hash. So you'll have a link in this video on how to create a MD5 hash of your key. And then what you're looking at here is the Postman collection. So you can just Google Marvel Comic API Postman collection, and you can see there's APIs for characters, comics, creators, events, series, and stories. And you can download this collection into Postman. And if you're starting with your kids, I would recommend you get Postman and start developing with Postman. So here I'm calling the, all of the characters. And as you can see here, there's over 1,500 characters, and we get links back of the name of the character, an image of the character, the comics that the character says appeared in, and you can go from there. You get structured JavaScript object notation back from the API that you can then start developing against. That's super exciting. Um, <laughs> I did notice, though, they use the API key in the URL. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it's a fun API, man. <laughs> it's an MD5 hash. Right, right, right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, if you want to find maybe some inspiration on how to get started with this API, and I, I got to be honest with you, you're going to be challenged with this API because it's one, there's a rate limit of 3,000 calls a day, and two, it's paginated oh. responses. So you're going to have to do a little bit of math and a little bit of logic on how to deal with the pagination. So on my on my GitHub under um, Automate Your Network, I have a project called Uatu. Now, I don't know if you know who Uatu is. He's the watcher. So he's the bald character that watches over the Marvel Universe. And you, you guys know me from some of my other work. I'm a big fan of mind maps. So I have this Python code that you can use, and you just need to make an environment variable file with your key and your hash, and then the code should just run. And what it does is it creates a mind map, and let's find, I don't know, there's just so many characters on here. Let's look at the beast. And if we look at it as a mind map, we have this mind map of every character with a link to the details of the character, a link to their Wikipedia, a, a thumbnail image, but then it even gives you totals. So the beast has, has appeared in over 818 comics, 218 series. And then if you want to find those series, you can just go into the series link and then check this out. I've serialized them by year. So all the way back to 1939, we have Marvel Comics from 1939 here. And this is the detail of the Marvel comics from 1939. How many stories, the previous series, the next series, the year it started and the year it ended. Well, I've done every year all the way up to 2022 and every series that Marvel's ever published as a mind map for you. 
So, so here's the thing, right? It's, it's one thing that because we live and breathe and play with APIs all the time, but how would I explain to my nine year old what a, what a JSON is? Like, can you put that in <laughs> words for? Yeah, I'm trying to think because I could I could totally see like me talking to Christopher about this and getting him interested in into it. So, well, I think a way that you could maybe have that discussion is to say, you know, we speak different languages as humans. Right now, we're speaking English, and a human can talk in French or Spanish or Italian. Well, if we're talking to computers, computers use their own language, which has its own structure, its own grammar, if you will, and it's known as JavaScript object notation. And it has certain rules that we have to follow, just like the English language has certain rules we have to follow. And and the younger we get children involved with JSON and Python programming, and, and, you know, I should have shown this, but if you have the working postman request well in postman you can say show me the code and you could pick curl or javascript or python and it will give you working code to make that same call against the api without ever even you know you don't need to know anything about programming you can use leverage postman's capabilities to expose the code for you well i'm curious about the creators portion uh john can you show us um what those creators API APIs do? So the creators are like the um, the creators of the comic books. So I have them all by name, and you could look up, say, you know, Jack Kirby or something like that, or Alex Ross, for example. He's he's one of my favorite. He does all of his work in paintings, and um, you can see he's done five hundred and six comics. We can go to the details link which takes you to his creator profile on Marvel Comics. And you can see all the comics he's done right from the API call. My, I mean, my I'm probably a bigger Marvel fan in my house than my kids. So I'm just, I'm just going to use this. <laughs> <laughs> Although my daughter loves Spider-Man. Uh, maybe I'll show her some Spider-Man APIs. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The, the possibilities are endless. You could even use that as a source of data. If you want to make a little card game or a video game or you know, maybe kids aren't super interested in in spreadsheets, but you could use that as a back end and develop your own front end logic and, and maybe make HTML pages for each of the characters and the superheroes that they like, right? You can build your own trivia. <laughs> you could. You could do <laughs> trivia. You could build bots. You could do webhooks. You could send this into Discord. You could make maybe a Twitter bot that has the superhero of the day and link some of the JSON onto Twitter. Um, I I was actually curious. This is more of a less of a Marvel fun thing, but more of a implementation question. Um, for the pagination, um, do you get hit on your rate limit uh, for the next page? You, you the way I've implemented it, you do. So the way I do it is I I I calculate the total number of pages, and then each page can have one hundred responses. So I subtract one hundred from the total count and iterate until it's less than zero. Okay, that makes sense. Because sometimes what they'll do um, is they'll implement a good, like a next link, and then it depends on their choice, right? Um, on what the implementation wants to do, and sometimes they won't charge you uh, for the for the API call if you just use the next link, which is kind of a nice thing if they do that. I'm actually gonna poke around. I'm gonna poke around this to see because if they do that, then you don't have to do the math on the pagination. Um, they do it for you, right? That's a really good uh, a really good idea. I'm going to make note of that and maybe make a branch in my Git repo as soon as this is done. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a great way a great way to you know sit down with your kids, show them some code, explain some of these terms API and JSON and Postman and and REST calls, and maybe you know maybe it's a little bit more exciting than some of their schoolwork that's related to computer programming that probably isn't using Marvel superheroes as their data set, right? Uh, I mean, frankly, just for presentation purposes, people sometimes find uh, making API calls against network devices super boring. <laughs> you can just say, well, <laughs> uh, before we even deal with um, RESTConf and iOS XE, why don't we actually take a look at what Iron Man's uh, comic history is, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it's like that deck of cards yeah. that we used for uh, our presentation. It was, you know, our hands-on demo. More, this is more fun this than is deck more of fun. cards. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> John, this is this is awesome. Snackers, if you're, you know, looking for a fun project to to 
play along to play around with your kids on uh, you know the shutdown holidays um here's one for you so check out john's github repo and um <clears throat> ping us and let us know in the comments uh, if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover i'm happy to to talk to Matt about it and see what we could do. <laughs> and oh, uh, like and subscribe. We don't always tell you to like and subscribe, but uh, feel free to. For we come out with an episode every Tuesday, and um, just do some neat stuff like this. This is probably more more fun, more of the fun ones. Usually, they're stuff that you know we got to get business done. Yeah. Um, but uh, th have a great holiday, uh, snackers. Enjoy enjoy the Marvel API this week. Poke around, find some other, suggest some other fun APIs that we can have John dig into and build mind maps of. Mm -hmm. um, he did uh, Major League Baseball, if I remember correctly, uh, a yeah. few dozen episodes ago. Um, so, snackers, thanks for thanks for your time this week, and we'll see see you next week. Thank you.